Fonts slow down websites, but with this trick, they'll load in zero milliseconds, meaning instant rendering and no flashes. It's made possible by what's called modern font stacks. Before we get into that, I'm gonna talk about regular fonts real quick. And finally, we'll touch on the pros and cons of modern font stacks. Most people don't know that when you add different fonts to your website, the visitor has to download those fonts. So for every variation, for example, bold, bold 900, italics. Those are three different fonts that need to be uploaded and then downloaded by your users. Unless if you're using variable fonts, but in either way, the visitor still needs to download those fonts. That's because those fonts don't exist on your visitor's computer or device. However, there are fonts that come pre-installed on our devices. And the reason we don't use these in web design is because every operating system comes with a different set of fonts installed on it. So if I were to reference a Mac OS font, well, my Windows, Linux, or Android users aren't going to be able to see that font. Modern Font Stacks fixes this. What they've done is looked at all of the different fonts that come installed on every different operating system and grouped them together by the ones that looked like pretty similar to each other. And this grouping is called a font stack. We use this font stack as our font family on our website and the browser will automatically determine the font that's installed on that device. So that means when a visitor goes to the website, they don't need to download the font, it's already on their computer and it'll load in zero milliseconds. There won't be any flashes and it'll just instantly be there. Now designers might hear this and go, no way, I need custom fonts. And that is totally valid. But there's another big use case. A lot of websites, they don't need custom fonts. And the trade-off of downloading the font to have something custom and, and hurting performance a bit isn't worth it. And if you're using Web Studio, it's automatically baked into our topography. So if we head over to the topography section, we have these default fonts right here. So for example, I can select this one or this one, and actually that looks really nice. I can head over to the modern font stacks repository. So Web Studio didn't create this. It was created by seven different people. The main contributor is Dan. These are the different fonts for the different operating systems. They're not exactly the same, like I mentioned before, but they're pretty close to each other. And there's a lot of different variations here. And a lot of these fonts are going to be sufficient for many use cases. So if you are using Web Studio, you could just head over to the topography section and find the font stack you want. It'll automatically output all the different variations of it. If you're not using Web Studio, then just head over to the Modern Stacks repository, and then you'll be able to copy and paste this CSS so that you have it in your app. I'm very excited about this because every millisecond counts when we're optimizing our websites, and this is going to add a pretty big performance boost to the websites that use modern font stacks. They're already installed on your user's devices, meaning they'll load in zero milliseconds and they'll instantly be there with no flashes. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.